Hello and welcome to my channel. A recently patched security vulnerability in the 7-Zip Archiver tool was exploited in the wild to deliver the smoke loader malware. If you are new to this channel, I am Bill Osolinski, a certified information system security professional with 30 years of experience. The flaw, cataloged as CVE-2025-0411, allows remote attackers to circumvent mark of the web protections and execute arbitrary code in the context of the current user. It was addressed by 7-Zip in November 2024 with version 24.09. The vulnerability was actively exploited by Russian cybercrime groups through spear phishing campaigns using homoglyph attacks to spoof document extensions and trick users and the Windows operating system into executing malicious files. It is suspected that CVE-2025-0411 was likely weaponized to target governmental and non-governmental organizations in the Ukraine as part of a cyber espionage campaign set against the backdrop of the ongoing Russo-Ukrainian conflict. Mark of the Web is a security feature implemented by Microsoft and Windows to prevent the automatic execution of files downloaded from the internet without performing further checks through Microsoft Defender Smart Screen. CVE-2025-0411 bypasses Mark of the Web by double archiving contents using 7-Zip, that is, creating an archive and then an archive of the archive to conceal the malicious payloads. The root cause of CVE-2025-0411 is that prior to version 24.09, 7-Zip did not properly propagate Mark of the Web protections to the content of double encapsulated archives. This allows threat actors to craft archives containing malicious scripts or executables that will not receive Mark of the Web protections, leaving window users vulnerable to attacks. Attacks leveraging the flaw as a zero day were first detected in the wild on September 25, 2024, with the infection sequences leading to smoke loader a loader malware that has been repeatedly used to target Ukraine. The starting point is a phishing email that contains a specially crafted archive file that in turn employs a homoglyph attack to pass off the inner zip archive as a Microsoft Word document file, effectively triggering the vulnerability. The phishing messages were sent from email addresses associated with Ukrainian government bodies and business accounts to both municipal organizations and businesses suggesting prior compromise. The use of these compromised email accounts lends an air of authenticity to the emails sent to targets, manipulating potential victims into trusting their content and their senders. This approach leads to the execution of an internet shortcut or URL file present within the zip archive, which points to an attacker controlled server hosting another zip file. The newly downloaded zip contains a smoke loader executable that is disguised as a PDF document. At least nine Ukrainian government entities and other organizations have been assessed to be impacted by the campaign, including the Ministry of Justice, Kiev Public Transportation Service, Kiev Water Supply Company, and the City Council. That's all for this presentation. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.